I guess, Carl, both teams had their chances, but in the yeah. end, do you reckon a draw was probably a fair result out of that one? Yeah, it probably was. Um, disappointed because in the first 30 minutes, I thought we were excellent. I think we got our noses in front and we probably should have been two, minimum two, maybe even three goals ahead. We missed some guilt edge chances. Football's funny because if you don't put teams away when you're on top, you know that the other opposition are going to have a period of play. You know, the disappointing thing for me is at half time I spoke about defending correctly and we didn't defend correctly for the goal um, straight after half time and then it became end to end. And, you know, they probably had slightly better chances than us in the second half, if we're being honest, and it could have gone either way, but should have been out of sight. Um, I guess overall, though, are you happy with the way the teams responded to the City game and the discipline? Yeah, listen, we had one poor performance. Uh, sometimes if you um, accept that and understand it and why. And I explained to the boys the reasons why I thought it was, and I'm part of that because I'm the coach and um, I took responsibility, but they took responsibility as well. You want a reaction, and after a defeat's important, then you don't get another defeat because you see that things happen in runs, and you know if you're getting two, three, four defeats in a row, then it's not easy to get out of. So they responded great. The character is always great in that locker room. The spirit, the fight, um, we just didn't defend correctly for one phase of play, and it cost us. I guess um, you, you made a few changes as well. You've got another game on Tuesday yep. and you're going to be playing the, a Mariners team that we know is always yep. up for the fight. Yep. Are you going to have to sort of rotate through again? Is yeah, it, probably. Is time of year? You know, it is that time of year. I think every coach is going through that. And, you know, it's, it's catch-22. If you don't rotate and you win, it's the right decision. If you don't rotate and you lose, it's the wrong. And if you do rotate and you lose... So, again, it's, that's a part and parcel of being a coach. I'll see how the boys um, get R tomorrow and we'll be in Monday, but I'll put the team that I think can physically able to cope with a very good team. Um, but we know we're a very good team as well, and hopefully it's a good game of football. Marco, do you want to go next? Hey, g'day, Carl. Um, Daniel Mark, Daniel Mark Bush, like I, I heard you say, he was just doing his job, <laughs> but, you know, I guess for a young guy who at the start of the season was largely un, untried, um, you know, he's... He's done pretty well, and this was a, one of his better efforts. Yeah, listen, he's been excellent all season, to be fair. Uh, you know, when I said he's doing his job, I'm, I'm sure that the, the professional keepers, ex keepers, keeper coaches all go mad at me because, you know, he, he come up trumps, to be fair, today. So, you know, I'm under no illusions. He's a fantastic young goalkeeper. You know, we've given him a chance this year to showcase that. You know, but he's not the only young one we've got. We've got Tommy Aquilina, we've got Wilmer, we've got Tass, who's back today. Our young lad Nats has been injured, and Keanu. So, We've got a lot of young players and they're getting minutes, which is important. A lot of homegrown players. You know, we, 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 we put a lot of focus and emphasis on our academy and when we're getting academy kids coming through, you know, it, it puts smiles on people's faces. But Margs has been excellent from day one when he walked in the door. He's getting a consistent run of games and he's showing a level of performance, which um, I think gets people talking about him. And uh, another card for like Graham, is that just the uh, 87 on Tuesday night? Is that just... You know, the way he plays, it's just, you know, you know, sort of... Yeah, uh, do you know what, I don't know. It seems to be that every time he, he, he fouls his mate, because he's got a few mates around the place and around the league, he gets yellow carded. And uh, do, you, do you know what, I don't know is the answer. Um, I'd be wildly speculating or throwing out some stuff there. And when you're a midfield player, you need to tackle. You need to make contact. All right, but just because you're a midfield player shouldn't mean that the first tackle you make you get booked. And if that is the case, no problem. But then it has to happen every every week, every time to every player, and that doesn't happen. So I think Graham's frustrated that that is the case because I thought he was excellent tonight, and you know he, it's been marred by a yellow card. But it's happened too many times now in relation to that. So that's why I get frustrated sometimes, or, or the other players do, because all we ask for is consistency. And I know people don't like that word, but unfortunately. We need to be consistent. Thanks, Matt. You're um, welcome. Just take Russell as well. Is that just basically giving him a rest? Injured. Or, right. So Injured. What's yep. happened there? Is he... Uh, no, he, come, he pulled out of training two days ago, uh, so I wasn't going to take a risk on Tati. Tommy Aquilina's had a good rest in the team. I've got Daniel Drudzewski as well, who's chomping up the bit, ready to play. So I won't take any risks with any players if they're touch and go, and yeah. Tati was touch and go. And he's... Any chance for Tuesday? Yeah, possible, yeah. to be fair. Yeah, possible with a three game week, it was easy to make that decision. You yeah. spoke of the disappointment at coming out of half time. Joey Champness caught your defenders out quite a lot that opening 10 minutes. Was he a focus at all? Did you think that he would be the person to do that, or did you not really focus on anyone? Those forwards in particular, Mil was it just sort of a team disappointment with the defence, or was it him specifically they struggled with? 
no, I think you know when you, whenever you're defending against attacking players, and Joey was one, um, centre forward was another, and obviously they made brought in some changes as well. Um, Danzaki, who played in the first half, and they've got three attacking players that come on with with Scott, Ian, Dylan, and people like that. So they're dangerous. Attackers are dangerous. That's what they're paid to do. That's what their job is to create goals and score goals. Um, he had a ten minute blitz of where he was playing very well, so we had to reset our focus. I think Ziggy defended very well against him for the majority of the time, but with good players, sometimes you can't always stop them. You had a good performance against the Mar uh, Mariners when you played in the first game this year. What did you take from that game which you could take into the big game next week? It's going to be a tough game. <laughs> it's uh, always a physical game against Central Coast. We know that. They're very, very organised and they're at the top of the table because they deserve to be at the top of the table. I know people are talking about other teams, but the table doesn't lie. Um, you know, They've got a lot of good, experienced players in that team and they're ready to fight. So we've got to be up for that game, but we're looking forward to it. And good to catch up with Masafa Kudo there on the side. Great. Briefly. Yeah, really good. And I give him a, a big hug because the last time I saw Masata was in Vancouver and obviously he had the terrible accident. But I asked him how him and his family were. Probably I should have done it after the game, just in case. Um, but if you're good to people, people are good to you. So nice to see him.